Hello everyone. Thank you very much for your participation in my presentation. My name is Itaka Fujieda, professor at Kyobai Gakuen University, Japan. My presentation title is A Study on EFL Writers' Emotional Expressions and Perception. Okay, let's start my presentation. Ah, okay, uh, first of all, uh, my presentation focuses mainly on an L2 writing study which examined the EFL writer's unverbalized or unspeakable feeling, uh, what we call felt sense writing in English. So this study um, interprets the meanings of writing in English. Um, also, I examine the felt sense of writing in English, as I mentioned, uh, through students' experience and the practice of writing in English. Well, um, this research was supported by granting a scientific research from the government from um, April 2018, 2018 to March 2021. And also, I could gain this research grant again from this um, April 2023 to March 2027. All right, um, let me explain the background of research on um, emotions of a second language, L2 writing. So research on the affective aspects of English writing has been performed in the field of um, L2 writing fields and um, applied linguistics. So many of these methods are being studied using uh, quantitative methods. In particular, many studies focus on the writing concerns or anxieties of learners of writing. So I found that a writer's anxiety is often related to um, negative thoughts and feelings about themselves and their writing ability. The researchers found that uh, writers who experienced anxiety were more likely to have uh, perfectionistic tendencies um, or to be uh, overly self-critical. So research showed that anxiety was associated with uh, lower self-esteem and higher level of emotional distress. In recent years, this type of research has been conducted using qualitative methods too. Uh, for example, a narrative or autobiographical approach helps learners express their feelings about L2 writings. Another approach focuses on the poetry style to express learners' emotions, describe the writer's actual situations, and express their emotions clearly. However, I found that um, <clears throat> there are quite few studies of emotions of writing in English. Also, I found that emotions of writing in English um, Lana showed were somewhat superficial and unclear. Let's say, for example, the, if the participant said the writing is difficult, so how difficult it is and why is it so? Well, so I found uh, humans can express their emotions, but uh, sometimes it's hard to explain or express them clearly. So according to Jenlin, uh, such unspeakable sense, what is called a uh, felt sense. So I assume that students have their felt sense of writing in English. To conduct the felt sense, then I try to apply I try to apply the TAE, Thinking at the Edge, approach proposed by uh, Jenlin <clears throat> into um, emotional studies of writing in English. So, uh, to conduct my research, I set up two research questions. So, first one is, what felt sense towards writing in English do um, Japanese EFL writers express? And the second one is, what does writing in English mean for the writers? Okay, um, so this study presented my studies of felt sense of 10 um, Japanese EFO writers, which have conducted for the past three years. So their English language levels were intermediate, and their text scores vary from about uh, uh, 450 to um, maximum is about the 500 scores. 
And then uh, the participants completed the required course, uh, written English, which is writing course for um, required or freshman uh, first year students when they are the uh, you know uh, the first year students. And then in terms of the backgrounds of English writing, um, most of the participants mainly practice the making you know like a, a grammatical or accurate sentences uh, during the secondary school years, like junior high and high school. And then um, they started to write paragraph writing uh, from university. Um, to collect the um, data sources, I asked all participants to join the uh, workshop of uh, TAE-based reflection activities individually. Um, and then in the workshop, I actually guided them on how to illustrate their felt sense of writing in English based on the TA steps and then also the TAE worksheet uh, written in Japanese, as you can see the slides, um, by uh, Tokumaru 2008. And then I highlighted 10 worksheets to understand the participants' general felt sense towards writing in English. And then after I finished the workshop, I conducted an unstructured interview individually in Japanese based on their worksheets. Uh, the interview for you know, were for about the 40 to 50 minutes in my office. And then the interviews were transcribed into the English with their permission. And then um, their analysis of this research involved uh, basically three phases, three steps. So first one is I, you know, try to read and also read again and um, translate it all worksheet into English carefully. And then after that, uh, member checking uh, with the all participants were done to confirm the translated meanings of uh, TAE worksheets and interviews. And the next step, next step was to um, produce the categories based on the uh, topical entries considered toward, uh, related to English writing. Afterwards, uh, new categories were created. Uh, comparing the documents and uh, uh, interview transcripts of the participants with existing codes as necessary. And then finally, I found emerging themes of the participants' felt sense of writing in English based on the, uh, these data sources. Okay, um, before presenting the research finding, uh, let me discuss the thinking at the edge TAE methods uh, proposed by um, Gendling and Hendricks uh, 2004. The TAE is a psychotherapy approach and contributes to uh, verbalizing the writer's emotions um, that are difficult or hard to articulate. The TAE approach can also be used to construct the meaning of a writer's felt sense. Well, uh, TAE is a thinking method of theory construction and is also a step-by-step -step concept formation, you know, created by Angelin and Hendricks. The TAE model is a structured method to verbalize vague sense and the bodily sense with um, explicit words. So Angelin and Hendricks argue that bodily sense is characterized as an implicit understanding of the body and experience intelligence. Uh, which is still difficult to ex express with words logically. The TAE method can be divided into three stages, uh, I will uh, explain later, each of which uh, includes four or five phases, a total of 14 steps. So such methods, so this kind of method encourages um, people to focus on felt sense and implicit understanding and to verbalize and theorize both uh, through uh, procedures. So Jenny and Hendricks has proposed a clear guide for the TAE approach, which is divided into three phases. So uh, the TAE approach begins with a short sentence concerning the unclear sense of feelings. So um, TAE approach facilitates people to uh, elucidate unspeakable feelings using clear sentences. Okay, so um, as I mentioned, uh, TAE includes a total of 14, uh, 14 steps with three stages, as you can see the um, 
PowerPoint. So part one, step one to five, is lead to a uh, um, felt meaning by referring directly to words, phrases, and the slots in the sentence to get a felt sense. So first activity entails writing down some words about the topic at hand, even if they were ambiguous, awkward, or hazy. And after that, the people or subject or participants are asked to describe their definition of the words that they have used. By using their own terms, uh, people try to make a short sentence expressing their uh, general thoughts about the theme that they have identified. Step two, uh, a part two, uh, step six to nine, is explore the roughly grabs the mass of meaning and to identify relationships between details or facets to see a pattern or patterns in the form of short sentences. So initially, the writer tried to identify and describe three facets that related to felt sense. Then the writer needs to allow the facets to contribute detailed structure. And then uh, part three, steps 10 to 14, is to develop a structure of organized concepts so that um, people can logically explain what they thought with their bodies in their own terms. Okay, um, so first step, uh, first step uh, helps the participant think about writing in English and then jot down the words and the phrases directly. So based on the words uh, on the uh, TAE form, the participant made one sentence. So uh, as you can see, the uh, part one, my sentences from the three participants, um, Aoi, Eri, and then Tomokazu, of course, um, all of them are a pseudonym. So in, uh, in Aoi's case, so she's, she said that uh, writing, about writing, so I was reading a new essay. I felt my heart beating is fast and exciting. And then in Eddie's case, she wrote that um, expressing my thoughts in English is difficult or the English is attractive and fashionable. So I'm fascinated by such difficult of writing. And then uh, Tom Kazu's case, English writings um, gives me a sense of connection to foreign countries. So this is the um, case or the examples of the uh, my sentence. So part two, uh, step 69, is to identify relationships between detailed facets to see a pattern or patterns in the forms, form of short sentences. OK, um, so this is the uh, example of the um, part two. So uh, first of all, it's Rika's case. So Rika actually compared English writing to cooking and practicing the music instrument. As, as mentioned, so writing is like cooking and practice music with the score. So this means that um, writing requires a process. So Rika thought that uh, she had to practice writing more and learning difficult grammar and vocabulary. Okay, um, how about Sanae's case? So Sanae actually reflected on her experience of English writing. So she, her case, uh, she compared writing to like a uh, running or exercising, uh, saying that writing is hard, but I, can, I cannot run away even if an essay is difficult. So uh, in this case, uh, this, means, this means writing is very difficult, but to uh, make writing fun. So sign these challenges of learning English, in this case with grammar. And then to make her writing better, she mentioned that uh, she tried to write hard so that her classmates can understand her writing. Okay, uh, one more case is Koki. Uh, Koki's case, uh, he actually compared to writing English to climbing mountains. So he wrote that um, writing is challenging, like uh, climbing mountains. So uh, Koki uh, said, so in this case, he said, 
well, he mentioned that uh, Koki needs to learn a lot of grammar and then expressions to be involved in English writing. So he also said that writing is like playing hard games with a lot of success and failure. So he answered that uh, Koki often made a lot of mistakes of grammar and word uses in this kind of failure. But when his writing was fine or very good, he felt that his writing was successful, which means it's like success. Okay, um, part three is to develop a structure of organized concepts so that the participants can logically explain what they thought with their bodies in their own terms, which show the meaning of writing in English. Okay, uh, in Tomoka's, uh, Tomoka's case, she indicated that uh, writing in English means well-organized writing and showing clear sentences with evidence. So she thought that writing re requires vocabulary and grammar knowledge and the various ways of expressions. Also, she thought that a complete essay gives her sense of achievement, repeat, repeating trial and error. And uh, Kay's case, so Kay responded to her writing activity through the writing classes, writing class. She concluded that uh, writing in English is both fun and difficult, but uh, she told me that writing in English helps to expand her world by learning various ways of expressions in English and uh, learning the differences of expressions between uh, Japanese and English. Also, um, Kay mentioned that writing often makes her confused how to write well and how to express her thoughts clearly. Uh, but by learning English and writing, uh, she felt the connection to other people and the world. And then Shinji's case, he tries to define English writing by reflecting on his writing uh, reflecting on his writing experiences of the writing class. So he answered that he has special feelings when writing in English using Japanese and English skills. You know, by learning English writing, and he thought that writing in English taught the depth of English language, and then also uh, gave him a chance to uh, develop himself. So he concluded that uh, English writing gave him an achievement and it opened the gate to the world and made him have fun to learn English. So uh, based on the studies, uh, here is a summary of the emergent themes uh, based on the old participants felt sense towards writing in English. So I show the key sentences uh, which support each emergent themes in the table or in the uh, PowerPoint slide. Okay, so um, the current study actually examined 10 Japanese undergraduate students felt sense towards writing in English. Through the previous investigation of the felt sense of English writing, I found that TAE is one of the appropriate methods to elucidate writers felt sense, like, you know, the meaning of writing in English. So this TAE approach provides a new insight into research on um, emotions of, of else writing. Of course, this type of research using the TAE approach has been quite limited, but I believe that the following complex TAE steps, uh, we can gain the understanding of the learner's uh, felt sense towards writing in, in English. So uh, here is the reference list of my uh, present study. Okay, uh, so that's all my presentation. Uh, thanks so much for your participation. Um, I really appreciate your critical comments on my research. Thanks so much.